Hey, Math 31. We had a question on number on section 5.1, number 73. We were given the equation of a ball, this ball that we're throwing from the top of a building, and we were asked how long it takes this ball to reach its maximum height. So let me go ahead and just draw you a semi-terrible picture. I'll pretend that I am on the building and I'm about to throw this ball up in the air. It's going to look something like this, right? And it will hit some maximum height here. And you can see that the path the ball takes looks like a parabola. And we know a little bit about maxes and mins for parabolas. We call that the vertex. So the game plan here is if I can find the vertex of this parabola, I can find when the ball is going to reach its maximum height. Now imagine these were axes here, right? If this was an axis, this would be the t-axis, right? We would have time here in seconds. And if I was going to graph the y-axis here, this would be, well, and actually we're not calling it y, it looks like we're calling it h. This would be, if I move my my pen around this would be height and let's see what units the problem gave us it said it was in meters okay so that's that's the graph of the situation I've got going on I could also have taken note that I had a negative coefficient in front of my parabola so I knew I was gonna have a upside down parabola which means I know I'm gonna have a maximum, all right? So let's optimize height. And when I say optimize, that's a general term for find the max or find the min of whatever. And if we wanna optimize height or maximize height, we just need an equation for height and we were given that. So I wanna optimize my height, I wanna maximize my height, and I wanna see when this maximum height occurs. So let's go find the vertex. You see me plugging into the formula negative b over two a, right? And then that gives me that my maximum height occurred at 2.449 seconds. And that's all I was asked to find. So that's why you see my answer there. If you wanted to actually find the Y value or the height value there, you could go ahead and plug 2.449 in and then you see that you get a maximum height of 37.388 meters. It didn't ask for that, right? This part here was extra. I just wanted you to see how that happens. Um, and when you get into calculus, they're going to teach you an entirely new way to do this. So in calculus, which most of you will be heading there after this, to optimize, you actually use something, or let me, let me use more words than this. You will use a derivative. All right, you'll hear that word pop up all over the place to optimize. And again, when I say optimize, that means find the maximum or minimum of something. So there's a different way to handle this problem once you get to calculus, but, but we're not there yet, so we have to use algebra. And in terms of parabolas, when it comes to optimizing, it means find the vertex. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.